guys, it's Carol here. Thanks for joining me. I know I have a lot of new subscribers, or I say a lot, but you know what I mean. A lot of y'all are new that haven't seen me in the last videos. So I just wanted to say hey and welcome to my channel and thank you for subscribing. I'm really excited to have you. So I was at my local grocery store. I live in Texas. If so are you Texas gals, I was at HB and first things I was taking a look at were some nail polishes. And I've got to say, I'm so, so, so excited for this new brand of nail polishes I've never tried before. Awesome. Oh my God, they're like my favorite ever. So they come from Wet n Wild and it's their Mega Last collection. I got this just adorable milky pink color, milky baby pink color I have to say, and it's called Sugar Coat. And I have to say these are awesome. They're so easy to work with. They have this like, check out that big fat wand. It's so wide and it's so easy to apply this nail polish on your nails. So um, let me show you really quick. So these have one coat, right? Right, and why I love, love this color of nail polish is it's, you know, it's that easy workable nail polish that if you're in a hurry and you don't have time to have to really spend a lot of time on um, a bright color or a dark color because those are higher maintenance to polish and all that, then I love this for that. It's, it just gives us a nice, beautiful, healthy, manicured look. So um, let me show you how easy it is just to paint your nail because it's so wide it doesn't take long. I think I'm done. I can't see from that side but I think I'm done. So these right here have two coats. No top coat yet because I haven't done that yet. Okay. But I just, awesome. Every nail polish company should have that this kind of a wand. Okay. So I got that color again, that sugar coat. Then I got this color called Disturbia and it's a beautiful rich, rich purple with a little bit of an iridescence to it. Um, it's gorgeous and again it has that awesome big fat wand that I'm in love with. This is my new favorite nail polish. Now as far as where, I don't know yet, but my friend Kira, who's also on YouTube, you can find her at Miss Pretty Pink 09. She's featured on my profile. She loves these nail polishes. They're, I think they're like her favorite also. So I'm pretty sure that they wear well also. Otherwise, I don't think they'd be one of her favorites. So love this color. Again, this is called Disturbia. Then I was on a hunt for a really nice Christmassy red color. Um, I have like a classic, more of an apple red color, like that's suitable for the spring, or kind of like that classic red that you can wear any time of the year. But I wanted something a little bit like more richer and festive. So I was on the hunt for more of like a, a warmer red. Um, not like vampy red, but a warmer red. So I found this one, it's in the brand Orchid. Um, I just love this color. I don't like the wand and I haven't painted my nails with it yet because it's very reminiscent of Essie's wand, that just really skinny, you know, wand that can ugh, make you just work on it, work with it for days. Um, so I'm not a fan of those. I just, I don't like spending a lot of time on my nails. I love the look of having, you know, polished, pretty nails. I just, I get so irritated. I'm so impatient when it comes to doing nails. So that is Sugar and Spice and Nothing Nice from the brand Orchid, and I just love this color. All these colors are coming up true to color on camera, so that's exactly what the color looks like. Okay, I wanted like a, uh, a finishing powder, right? The one I've been using is a loose powder mineral foundation powder, which comes from Neutrogena, and I like that, but it has SPF in it, which I don't always want SPF to set because, you know, sometimes I'm taking pictures and I don't want so much SPF on me. So, I took Tanya Burst, you know, rave of Rimmel products in general, but especially the Stay Matte. Um, translucent powder. So it comes in a pretty big, nice size pan, it's quite translucent. I mean, it was kind of like, whoa, you know, but truth is I am very translucent. It just kind of like blended in with my skin. So, you know, I'm a little bit in denial and I don't like to come off so white, but I really am white. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've heard so much talk about this red lipstick. I'm wearing it today. It looks like this. It's definitely not a warmer red, um, you know, I, I, I had a couple of those up and I'll probably get them next time. This is more of just a more, you know, more of a pinky red. Okay. So this is what that looks like swatch more of a pinky red, more of a raspberry. Um, and like I said, I am wearing it today. These wear very long. I love the super lustrous line from Revlon. They wear well, they, um, they're moisturizing. They never dry my lips. They stay on a long time. I just love these lipsticks and they have so many beautiful colors. So today I'm wearing this and then I needed a liner to go with that. So I went out, went over to my good old NYX and I got the color hot red. Okay. So there it is. 
and I'll go ahead and swatch that next to that um, swatch of the lipstick. So I thought, yeah, these would work well together. So I lined and shaded in my lips prior to applying the lipstick, and I like the way it came out. Then I needed um, the Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk from NYX. I've been wanting it forever, but every time I went, they were sold out. So it's just a dream, I'm not dream matte. I keep wanting to say dream matte. It's just a white matte, smooth to the touch, Jumbo Eye Pencil to use as an eyeshadow base. It makes a big difference with eyeshadows before applying them, especially when they're colored. Just, just really brings out that true color of the eyeshadow. So I needed to get um, some more makeup remover towelettes. Okay, what I usually do is I get a brand of makeup remover wipes I trust that I've already, yes, I can rely on them, okay? Usually that is my elf, okay? But I wasn't at Target, so I had to go with another trusty brand, which for me, that is Neutrogena, okay? These are $4.99, they're moist, very moistened for me, they take off my eye makeup well, my face makeup well, they don't irritate me at all, they're allergy tested, dermatologist tested, ophthalmologist tested, and alcohol free. Me and Neutrogena, we work well together. I'm not saying the company, I'm just saying the products. We work well together. Like, I, I trust Neutrogena with a lot of things. Their foundations, you know, I'm, I haven't tried a lot of their makeup yet. It's quite expensive. But, you know, everything I have tried, I've been pleased with. So, these work for me, but they do sting some people's eyes. So just be careful. I don't know if you wear contacts, maybe. I'm not sure what the deal is, but they have stung some people's eyes that I've watched videos from. So, just be careful with that. But I do really, really like these, and I repurchased them several times. So, I picked up some of these for about $4.99. Then I was like, okay, I need to get some to try out. So, these are the Pons knockoff. They're Pons um, Original Clean knockoff. Um, they're the H-E-B brand, Hill Country Essentials. Comes with about 30. They have chamomile. They have um, antioxidant tea, triple T antioxidant complex, and they also have vitamin E you feel all of that when you apply these to your face. So they feel really, really nice and refreshing. They smell really good. They just remind me of like the way baby wipes used to smell back in the day or like when I babysit and I was really young. The only thing is they don't do the best job at removing makeup. So while they're nice and refreshing and they do a great job there, they're not the best with removing makeup. They don't irritate me. Um, they don't sting me whatsoever. I'm trying to see what they if they have anything special. They're alcohol free, they're oil free, dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested and they're hypoallergenic, and they're safe for contact lens wearers. Comes with 30, big little package. And I got these for like a dollar something, you know, because they were on sale and then I had, they had a little H-E-B coupon. So I was about to go pick up, you know, something, one of the Crest toothpaste, but then I saw H-E-B's brand of um, the Crest, and it's called Radiant White. This is the knockoff to their Crest 3D White Vivid. This is more of like the blue cool ice mint smell in the gum, yeah. Kind of smells like a medicine almost. It says enamel safe whitening formula, um, whitens and removes surface stains from teeth. I'm an avid coffee drinker. I drink it every day, and if I don't, I usually have coffee, I mean tea of some sort. So I always try to get some type of a whitening toothpaste. They had a whole bunch of this organics brand of shampoos and conditioners on sale. Several cents. Um, they had them on sale, and then on top of that, they had a coupon to go with that. So I went ahead and got the conditioner of the coconut milk. And it has like egg whites um, to give you like the elasticity and the proteins. And then it also has coconut oils to add the hydration and the balance. This smells just like a pina colada. It smells just like that. Like if you were to stick a straw in it, it would taste just like that. It's just, oh, I love that scent. If you love coconut, vanilla, you know, tropical smells, you would be in love with this. Now I haven't tried it on my hair yet but I can't wait to. I mean, and then I can't wait to tell you what I think about it, but I'm very excited to try the Organics brand because I've heard so many good things about this brand. So, if you all have tried any of these products and you know you have anything to say about them, um, leave them in the comments below. I would love to hear that. Or, you know, if you have a video, you know, that's film, not familiar, related to any of the products, send me a video response. But yeah, anyways, that concludes my haul, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I love your company and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.